India has one of the strongest and largest navy in the world. Its primary flotilla of warships includes 11 destroyers, 13 frigates, 15 submarines, and an aircraft carrier named Vikramaditya. Its navy packs a powerful punch, but neighboring by belligerent Pakistan and powerful China, the Indian Defense Authorities feels the need for a much stronger and larger blue water navy, that can protect its vital national interests in case of an armed conflict with China and Pakistan, and blockade their vessels from entering into the Indian Ocean. To achieve that goal, they need to maintain at least three carrier strike groups at any given time in the Indian Ocean. They will need them to effectively choke the Strait of Malacca entrance point to the Indian Ocean, and blockade the Pakistani port of Gawada and Karachi. By doing so, they can effectively cripple the economies of both China and Pakistan. For that reason India is growing its fleet of aircraft carriers, destroyers and frigates. India has completed the development of its first indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant at Kochi Shipyard Limited in India. The aircraft carrier Vikrant is currently undergoing sea trials and will eventually enter into service before the end of 2022. The aircraft carrier Vikrant has a displacement of 45,000 tons, and is technologically more advanced than previous carriers operated by the Indian Navy. It is 262 meters long, 63 meters wide, and have a depth of 25 meters. The aircraft carrier Vikrant will have operational range of 10,000 nautical miles without a single replenishment. The aircraft carrier Vikrant will accommodate 1,600 crew members, and a detachment of 60 Marcos Marines to carry out search and rescue operations. The aircraft carrier Vikrant can carry 30 to 36 fighter aircrafts and helicopters on its deck, it will most likely carry the MiG-29s and carrier-based version of the indigenously developed Tejas fighter aircrafts. India initially wanted to purchase a squadron of Sukhoi-33 for its aircraft carrier, but instead placed order for carrier-based version of MiG-29s, because the aircraft carrier Vikrant will not be able to operate Sukhoi-33 with capacity, due to the lack of electromagnetic catapult launch system, as it's equipped with the traditional ski jump ramp to launch aircrafts into the air. That is why the aircraft carrier Vikrant will be using the Heli-Born Early Warning Radar Systems instead of Fixed Wing or WAX. However, India may acquire carrier-based version of Rafale with slight modifications for its aircraft carrier, because Rafale-M can operate with short takeoffs if they make improvements according to their needs. However, for now the aircraft carrier Vikrant will carry a squadron of MiG-29 and a squadron of Tejas aircraft as part of its air wing. It will also be able to carry heli-borne early warning aircrafts along with three transport helicopters. Experts believe, the aircraft carrier Vikrant will give the much-needed capability boost to the Indian Navy due to its sheer firepower, and its ability to be deployed rapidly at long ranges. The aircraft carrier Vikrant will be equipped with traditional ski jump ramps to launch aircrafts into the air. The electromagnetic catapult launch system is very efficient but its development is very expensive and requires immense technological know-how and expertise of the system. And it's because India is still new in this arena, as Vikrant is its first domestically developed aircraft carrier. However, India is already planning to equip their future aircraft carrier named Vishal with electromagnetic catapult launch and recovery system. The aircraft carrier Vishal is currently in designing phase and is expected to be ready for sea trials by the end of the decade. The aircraft carrier Vikrant is powered by four General Electric diesel turbine and gas turbine generators. Together they will create 80 MW of electricity. The aircraft carrier Vikrant is using two shaft propellers, that will provide it with top speed of 30 knots, and regular speed of 28 knots. The Indian Navy architects are planning to power their future aircraft carrier Vishal with nuclear reactor, which can create up to 900 MW of power for infinite amount of power with replenishment every 20 years. The nuclear-powered aircraft carriers have greater efficiency, durability and range, as compared to conventionally powered ones. In terms of sensors and radars, the aircraft carrier Vikrant will be equipped with four dual-band ELM-2248 active electronically scanned array radar system developed by Israeli Aerospace Industries. It is capable of tracking both air and surface targets. It has detection range up to 250 km for destroyer-sized targets. These radars will be mounted on top of its island for clear and better area coverage. The aircraft carrier Vikrant is also equipped with Shakti electronic warfare and decoy suit. 
For anti-submarine warfare the aircraft carrier Vikrant will be accompanied by frigates and destroyers, but it will still be equipped with multiple towed array sonars as well for detection and protection against submarines. The aircraft carrier Vikrant command management and its supporting elements are better than previous aircraft carriers of the Indian Navy. The ship's combat management system was developed by Tata Power Strategic Engineering Division in collaboration with Russian firms. It is the first combat management system developed by a private company for the Indian Navy, and was equipped on aircraft carrier Vikrant in late 2019. For self-defense against incoming projectiles, the aircraft carrier Vikrant is equipped with a layered defense network of long, medium, and short-range air defense systems. For long and medium-range protection, it will be equipped with multiple VLS of Barak-8 surface-to-air missile defense system. It can shoot down any flying object with radar cross-section of 1 square meters for up to 150 kilometers. The aircraft carrier Vikrant will also be equipped with 6-barreled 30mm Gatling AK-630 close-in weapon system for short-range protection against projectiles. The AK-630 is a fully automatic naval close-in weapon system, it is mounted in an enclosed automatic turret, and is directed by MR-123 radar system for detection, tracking and eliminating incoming anti-ship missiles. A single unit of AK-630 close-in weapons system can fire up to 5,000 bullets per minute on incoming missiles, and it has operational range up to 5 kilometers. The aircraft carrier Vikrant will be equipped with six units of AK-630 close-in weapon systems. Apart from that, the Kolkata-class destroyers will also provide air defense umbrella to the aircraft carrier Vikrant. Once operational, it will not only extend the air defense coverage beyond the range of its coastal and shipboard missile defense systems, but will also enable the Indian Navy to carry out task group operations at increasingly long ranges. The aircraft carrier Vikrant will reinforce the Indian Navy's capability to exert its influence in the Indian Ocean and help it project itself as a blue water navy. Pakistani defense experts see the development of the aircraft carrier Vikrant as a great threat to its security, because in case of an armed conflict India will be able to impose a blockade on Pakistani ports, which can effectively cripple their economy. But the blockade will impact the Chinese trade through Pakistani ports as well, so Indian Navy may have to fight a two-front war in the Indian Ocean. Can the Indian Navy fight a two-front war against Pakistani and the powerful Chinese Navy? Give us your answer in the comment section, and be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. That's all on the topic for now. Take care and have a great day.